All right, would Ms. Brooks like to make a statement on her own behalf? Um, I would like to say I never meant to intimidate anyone and I would like for you to forgive me for my intimidation and um, I would like to ask if you could um, after I complete everything um, expunge this off my record anything further That's it, Your Honor. All right, so of course the court has had an opportunity to review the precepts report. I've had an opportunity to listen to the testimony at trial. I had an opportunity to listen to some other things um, uh, at the bond violation hearing, and I'm ready to impose sentence. I, well, I'm almost ready to impose sentence, but I'm going to proceed, and then we'll see how that takes me. Um, yeah. I'm going to start by saying that wherever Miss Brooks lives in the world, where, wherever she lives in the world, Wherever, hold on, let me. All right. Wherever Miss Brooks lives in the world, Miss Brooks is going to be with her. Everywhere she goes in the whole entire world, she's taking herself with her. No matter what her neighbors, who her neighbors are, Miss Brooks is going to be right there with herself. Um, I'm not a clinician, neither is probation. And that's why I'm going to have somebody who is better equipped to talk to Ms. Brooks so I can decide if I'm going to send her to the mental health treatment court because that is delusional. Who, who cares if I see my neighbor recording my license plate? My neighbor live right next door to me. It, it is delusional to fixate on my neighbor is recording my license plate. My neighbor can see my license plate. She literally is parked at the end of her driveway with her uh, trunk to the street. Anybody who wants to can come out and take a picture of her license plate. If she didn't want somebody to see her license plate, she would hurry up and come home and back in to her driveway. Now the only way my neighbor could get my license plate is if they catch me leaving out or if they come on my property. Now they're wrong for coming on my property. Additionally, you know, I mean, I'm not sure. You know, the, the I'm not sure about the video that you showed me today. But what I know is Miss Brooks started it. Now, did the victim act according to what a rational person person who's trying to avoid conflict and live in peace with everybody should do? No. If my neighbor put their um, garbage can on my part, would I run it over? No. But if I have a conflict with my neighbor, why would I put my trash can on their, in front of their house? It's not even like they live on the other side of the street. So like one morning when I woke up and I, and I said, what is the the um garbage truck out here so early? Because they never come early until I didn't put my trash out there the night before. Now I hear the trash, the garbage 
truck. Now they're coming down my side of the street. So the only way for me to get my trash picked up that day is if I take my trash can, move it to the other side of the street. But because I'm neighborly, as people should be when they have neighbors, I would literally ask my neighbor. I would have previously asked my neighbor before this because we're neighborly in where I live, where I've ever lived in my entire life because I show myself neighborly. So I would already know that my neighbor thinks it's okay if, if I miss the trash coming my way, sure, you can pull your trash can over here. It's not hurting me. First of all, it's on a public street. Let's be clear. Let's be clear. When I put my trash can in the street, it's the public street. It belongs to the city. You have no rights to it. Not the, the victim, nor the defendant. It's the street. You have no right. I can park in front of your house if I want to. It's the public street. It's the public street. So everybody is behaving badly and poorly. Let's say that. If we were trying to be peacefully and I just didn't want your trash can in front of my house, if I did push it with my truck, I was only going to push it in front of your house. If I was trying to be petty, you see what I, if I was trying to be petty, I might have just pushed it right there so it was blocking your car so that when you came out, you now you got to pull it on your side. If I was being petty, that's what petty neighbors do. That's why neighbors can't get along sometimes because y'all being petty. Miss Brooks trying to act like, oh, I didn't mean to intimidate nobody. Yes, you did. You meant to intimidate them because you felt like they were to intimidate you. Could be, or you could be the original agitator. You know, I play this game that I'm getting ready to give up. Uh, playing. And um, Monopoly go. And then they some your friends destroy your board. Then they show up on your revenge uh, thing where you could get them back. And I told my one friend, I said, well, by the time we get each other back twice, we don't know who started it. We don't know who was the originator of doing it. Now, every time you just keep showing up on my board. It's probably been going on so long, y'all maybe not don't know who started it. But the only person in trouble right now is Miss Brooks. And then I highlighted some, I highlighted some things that does cause me to believe that there are some type of there's some type of mental mental health issues going on. And if there are no mental health issues going on, Ms. Brooks might need to get locked up. That's where I'm at right there. I'm giving her the benefit of the doubt that there's some mental issues going on. Some things that maybe she needs some assistance with. Otherwise, I might adjourn the hearing and she might need to come in person and go behind that great door because she's being petty and, and, and not abiding by my, my orders. Because here's the thing about that thing. I don't know when that video was taken with that trash can being in front of that house. But if it was taken after my no contact order, she, she kind of violating the order. You come in on my property. I don't know how she had to come over there and put that trash can in front of their house, which was petty all the way around. They live on the same side of the street. So they, the, when the trash can, when the trash truck comes, they they is picking up both of their trash at the same at right one after the other. It was no reason, none, zero, zero reason for her to for Miss Brooks to put her trash can in front of. Uh, I don't. I don't want to keep calling her. Victor, what's her last name again? Miss Watkins. Miss Watkins' house. It was no reason. When Miss Brooks' daughter came to her house, if it was my daughter, I'd have called the police on her. 
police, my daughter coming over here, and the judge says she can't come over here. I need y'all to hurry up and get here. She breaking in. She breaking and entering a dwelling without owner's consent. I do not consent to her coming in here, getting her mail. But no, because Miss Brooks is obstinate and refractory. She said, come on over here and get your mail. The judge can't tell me what to do. Now, she going to ask you when it's come time to sentence, was I supposed to let my daughter come over here? She should have been asking you that before the daughter came over there to get the mail. I promise you, if I tell my grown daughter today, don't come to my house. Don't come, don't come to my house. The judge said you can't come to my house because you over there fooling with the neighbor. You, you messing with the neighbor. The judge said don't come over my house. I guarantee you she's not going to come. Why? Because she's going to be scared of me. She know I'm going to call the police on her. Oh, you at my house? I'm calling the police. And every time I'm going to have a police report when my daughter comes to my house. So you're not going to just throw a rock and hide your hand. You're not. You're not going to just stop. Oh, I can't control my kids. What did you tell them to stop coming over your house? Look like you might need to move from your kids. But you're not going to try to pretend like, oh, I, I didn't know I was intimidating somebody. Yes, you did. Oh, look what she did. It, it takes an interesting person. And I'm going to say, again, one with some mental health challenges to present a video where I'm in the wrong. I, 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 I threw rocks on my neighbor's thing and now I'm, I'm going to show the judge how my neighbor is pushing these rocks on my property. You don't want to throw the rocks on their property. You're the one who put your trash can on in front of their home for no reason. None. Zero. Zilch. No reason. There was no construction that I saw in front of your home. DTE didn't have your house locked off. And if I was going to put my trash can in front of a neighbor's house because my own home is me, the, the, the water and sewage is in front of my house, I can't put my... I'm definitely not going to put it in front of the house of the person that I'm having a conflict with. Put your phone back down. Put it back where it was. The last time I checked, I was literally in the middle of your sentencing. Put that phone down, ma'am. Ma'am, don't, don't do that. Don't, you, you can show me your hands. Now I literally just saw you get up and get the phone. I don't care if your hands are empty in this moment. You literally just got up on the camera and picked up that phone. Good morning, Mr. Page. Good morning, Judge. How are you? I'm, I'm wonderful, Mr. Page. How are you doing? I'm doing okay on this Monday morning. Don't get, don't get tired of me, Mr. Page, yet. You just start working here. Don't never. get tired yet. I, never, it's, never, never, yeah, never. Mr. Page, I'm giving you a lot of work. Just know that. I, I, it's, it's okay. I, I, I already know, but it's it's all right. It's all right. <laughs> security from me, Mr. Page. <laughs> well, Mr. Page, you've had an opportunity to hear some of my situation. So Ms. Brooks is here for sentencing today. There was a recommendation in the probation order for a mental health evaluation. Um, and I do understand, again, the new procedure for um, your court. But I'm, I do want to take a break in this moment. Um, and I just want you to speak with Ms. Brooks to, to, I don't know, get a little bit of understanding of if you, even if you think that she, you know, might need to come at all. Like, aside from the fact, well, I guess her eligibility would hinge on whether she needs to come, you know, that's it. But I don't, I don't think, uh, let me From what I up. read, it looks like she never had a mental health evaluation. And she denies uh, any substance abuse or anything. So I'm not quite sure, but I can definitely talk to her 
and um, you know, get some information. And so maybe that's where I need to start of getting the mental health evaluation first before I bring you Correct. all the thoughts. Correct. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. Thank you for that. Uh, because you are correct in both of those. And I was trying to, I was trying to see something, but I didn't. Uh, they're not, they're not doing what I need them to do. Okay. Um, and I didn't highlight it. Oh, yes, I did. So you're correct. She, she denies it and she tested negative. Yes. On, maybe down there on page eight at the bottom. I'm having to talk to Mr. Farmer about that. Um, so this is what I'll do. I'll allow you to go on about your business. Um, and then I will order that she submits the mental health evaluation and then we can go from there. And then we'll see. come back. Okay. Okay, thank you so much, Mr. Oh, Mayor. no problem. No problem, Judge. You have a great day. All right, you also. Thanks. Bye-bye. Okay. So that being the case, I am ready to impose sentence, and I'm going to do so in the following manner. Court is going to impose 24 months probation. That will put us with a final review date of February something, 2026. Mr. Flanagan found that date for us. Um, and then uh, part of the reason that I'm, I'm extending it for so long is pending the mental health evaluation. So pending the mental health evaluation because I don't want to do 12 month period and then have to try to deal with Judge Holmes. So um, the court is going to order the following conditions of probation. You shall not violate any criminal law of any governmental unit. That means no new cases. You must not leave the state of Michigan without consent from the court. You must make a truthful report to probation on a monthly basis, and you must notify probation immediately of any change of your address, phone number, or employment status. You will pay the following fine, costs, and fees. Mandatory cost of $210, $100 attorney's fee. $300 fine, zero restitution. $840 in oversight fees. Of course, that's at a rate of $35 per month, and of course it will be prorated um, if she is discharged early. $50 pre-sentence investigation fee. For a total of $1,450. Final review date will be February the 12th, 2026, if we get to that point. You shall not use or possess any illegal substance. You shall not use or possess any marijuana without a valid medical marijuana card. You shall not use or possess any opiates without a valid prescription and letter of explanation from the doctor. You shall not drive without a valid driver's license. And according to the report um, on page three, at this time, your license is valid. You shall uh, not use or possess any handguns, firearms, anything that looks like a handgun, firearm, anything that might be interpreted as a handgun, firearm. You shall not possess that. You shall submit to random your analysis, not on a monthly basis, but whenever at the discretion of probation. You shall submit to a mental health evaluation within 90 days. You shall attend 
18 weeks of anger management. You shall have absolutely no contact with the complaining witness. That means including in front of her house. Don't park in front of her house. Don't put your gas up. Uh, garbage can in front of her house. Don't put your leaves in front of her house. Don't put your bulk trash in front of her house. Do not place anything in front of her house. Nothing. No thing. You shall attend the Choices Program through eBay. You have a $335 balance with 36 district court. You shall pay that in full. Court is going to set a review date for June the The mental health evaluation must have been completed by June 10th. Must have been completed before June 10th. Must be completed. Must be completed before June 10th. Must be completed. Completed. Not scheduled. Completed by June 10th. I'm going to hold off at this time. There was a recommendation for the three days of community service, but I'm going to hold off at this time because I'm giving her 18 weeks of anger management plus the choices program. Anything further with respect to this matter? No, thank you, Your Honor. Your Honor, I would ask the court to reconsider the $35 per month over rate at the oversight views due to the um the income that's reported in the employment section on page five, Your Honor. I don't, I don't know. She's working. What do you mean? Right, Your Honor. But so, you know, just by definition of having been able to use our services, Ms. Brooks is considered. But everybody that use your services get $35 a month, unless I say something else, that the people who use your services don't get a reduced rate for the oversight fee. No, right. she's going to require a lot of oversight. So no, not right now. I won't reconsider it. No, she yeah. she. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm just looking at the rate of pay, the rate of hourly pay, Your Honor, and um. I'm looking I, at it. She said the answer is no. She's not the first person that made fourteen dollars an hour that get thirty five dollars a month. She's not the first, and uh, and at this moment, the answer is no. I'll reconsider it later. See. How she doing? But based on her ability to pay, I mean, we could do an, a, an ability to pay here, and she could bring in all the money and the, the, all her, you know, expenses and things and such, um, including how much she paid for that taser gun. And I know she's going to have to pay more for her um, the anger management because that course is a. Is lot the the answer is no. The drunner. Thank you. Okay. I'm going to mail a copy of this order. I'm not. The court is going to mail a copy of this order to the South Street address. Probation is going to contact Ms. Um, Brooke at the phone number ending in 2689. And if anything, I will uh, convert some of her costs to community service, but I'm not reducing it. She's going to require a lot of oversight. She, I can clearly see she's going to require a lot of oversight. Anything further? Um, nothing on behalf of Ms. Brooks. Thank you very much, Your Honor. All right. You're very welcome. Everyone have a great day and stay safe. Good morning, Deputy. Good morning. Good morning. All right. Uh,